And welcome back to the long run where we are finishing the base game for CrossCode. So last time we uh, spoke to the rest of our uh, guild with the help of Sergei coming from this thing here. Fortunately, they are all in agreement that uh, we should storm Vermilion Wasteland. They have all... Um, volunteered their support, including Apollo and Dorne, who are not members of um, the First Scholars. But, you know, we need all the help we can get. So, here we are. Um, let's go ahead to Sapphire Ridge. Not much else to it. Hi. We've all gathered and are ready. Good. Let us reveal the secret entrance. Whoa. Here we are. This cave will, lead, will directly lead to Vermilion Wasteland. Really is here. A whole new area of the playground. This is exciting. Now, this is the last chance for everyone to prepare. Once we go through here, there is no turning back. We will have to act quickly to catch Sidwell by surprise. Yeah, please enter the cave once you feel ready to start. Gotcha. Y'all ready? Out in chat. Everybody ready to storm Vermilion Wasteland? And by everybody, I mean probably Jewel. Charge! Let's do this. Everyone get ready. Yes, Zero, we have enough sandwiches. I made sure to buy some sandwiches. Also, hello. Time has come. Let us proceed to the cave and assemble right before the exit. I will give you further instructions on what to do when we are there. Alrighty, let's go everyone! Hi Leah. Hi. And it's still so hard to believe that you're an AI. Wait, does that mean you understand binary? No. Zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one zero one one. What? I have no idea what it means. You tell me. <laughs> really though, it, it this is all very exciting. You have my vote for best newbie of the year, Leah. So did I get that right? My clone is still over there in Utah ground. Oh, Young, this is such a weird situation. We both just barely know each other, right? Like that other Lucas seems to be quite dear to you because of what we both experienced together. It really shows how much your life is shaped by, shaped by happenstance. Also, I really wonder what would happen if I met my clone over there. Um, yeah, probably best to avoid that. Because Aaliyah almost got shut down by learning she's in the eye. Oh, I suppose I better be careful about that. Leah dear. Hi. This whole situation is so hard to grasp for me. You know, we both in uh, we enjoy games like Crossworlds because they allow us to live a fantasy. So that for a moment we can forget all about it. So that for a moment we can forget all about the worries of real life. Yeah, all of this suddenly became very real, didn't it? You could say that one that our fantasy is in fact your reality, eh? Now then, that's all the more reason to fight for your cause. Thanks. You're welcome, dear. Oh. 
for daily. Aye. You, are, you really are by far the most human-like AI I have experienced. You passed the Turing test with flying colors. Yeah. I really do hope that we'll be able to create a place for Iwatars like you here, in, uh, like you here in Crossroads. Now it will be difficult to get instantaneous support. I'm sure you can manage that. Poor girl. You must have had a hard time not being able to talk, not knowing about yourself. Probably didn't help that Polly kept bothering you on top of that. But really, Leah, you're a strong girl. From what Sergei told us, you really must have gone through a lot. Yeah, here you are, still happily saying hi to everyone. Hi! Just like that. It's always a joy to play together with you. Experiments or Leah? Yeah. What is it? I'm calling you by your name now, I'm not. Leah. Wait, do you want me to drop this Ferramanser part as well? I'm afraid I never do that. It is a noble title every player of our class should wear with pride. Alright, fine, but only this one time. Leah, so now that the now that the truth is out, it seems I was right. From the very beginning, you have been cheating! However, given the circumstances at the time, I suppose it's fair to, to let us know. Besides, so, Leah, I, I'm actually very proud of you. You've grown into a prime example of, of a spheromancer. Looking back, I have to say it has been an honor to have, to have had you as such a capable opponent. And while you didn't quite reach my level of expertise, you definitely came close. Thanks. Now it's time for our greatest act of justice so far. I hope you're ready. Leah! Hi! Yeah, Shehi. Now that, I, now that I think about it, I really have to like the worst, no? I kept poking, poking you about your real life, like, all the time? Not to mention how you reacted after the raid. Uh, I'm so, so sorry. Ah, I, I just didn't know any better, but still, I'm sorry. I just want you to know that you really are a dear friend to me. Doesn't matter if you're an AI or anything else. Thanks. It really is a bummer that Tronny isn't around for all of this. He really is such a dork. A nice dork, though. Let's hope he'll show up again eventually. Alright, it's never one. Behind this door lies Vermilion Wasteland. Let us quickly discuss how we will proceed from here. Our goal is to assemble as many Evotars as we can, uh, as we can find, get them close to the quest hub to the east, and then subject them to a certain field effect. We need to do this as fast as possible. That's why uh, that's why I suggest we split in three teams. Team A will run straight to the quest hub and deal with all the Evotars of that area. I suggest that Leah is part of that team. Then I'll join Team A as well. Lucas, you too. No more level excuses. All right. Good. Then we need two more uh, two more teams tasked with gathering all eight guitars of the area and leading them to the quest hub. Team B will take care of the forest in the north, and Team C the river delta in the south. Ron and I will take care of the forest. Alrighty, that leaves Buggy Buggy Al and me for Team C. Perfect. Well set. Everyone get ready. Operation start! Wow, oh, what a gloomy place. How unexpected. Now I really wonder about the history of this location. There is time for that later. We need to hurry. He said, well... Hmm. What a large company. Expected. Hey, is this that Sidwell guy? 
You all should be perfectly aware that this area is off limits. Leave at once unless you want all your accounts to be suspended. Everyone, do not listen to him. He cannot risk reporting this to official channels. Foul villain! Your empty threats will not stop us! We, nothing will turn us back now. So what is it you're after? The server? It would be impossible for you to reach. And even if you did, this data will be lost before you get there. And then you'd lose the sole copy of every Iwatar, including Satoshi. That's right. The Iwatar server is your last sausage. Hostage you can't afford to lose. You'd be wise not, not to overestimate my attachment to all this. Anyway, I'll humor your attempt. But I won't let you stroll around unhindered. The barrier is down. Time to split, everyone. Onwards! To the forest! Good luck, everyone. Oh, dude, what are those robot thingies? Barriers are connected to those enemies. We need to get rid of them to proceed. Alright. Dang it. And this time, they are not kicking our butts. We are doing the opposite. There we go. Onward to the quest sub. Um... Oh. More metal faces. your other friend? Look, it's one of those Evotars. Hey you, you should go to the quest hub. Huh? Uh, they got amazing loot there. Go there if you want to get out of here. Quick, there is just this one chance. Really? Quest hub you say? No, well, that worked well. Um, if you're referring to Lucas, he is level... Wow, he's been slacking. He's all 58. Oh dear. Quick, move to the marker. Holy frigging lasers. These markers will catch the laser beams. Use them for your protection. All right, Leah, we are ready to start. Here's what you need to do. Listen closely. Our goal is to zap every Evotar in this area. For every Evotar, there's three, three steps to follow. First, you need to defeat a nearby Shredder unit to, fi to start the fixation routine. Second, move the, the defeated Shredder close to the Evotar to fixate it. Third, the fixated Evotar needs to be hit by the laser. If you can't find any Evotars, standing on laser catchers will make, uh, will make them point at the nearest one. That is all. Go. Everyone, focus. Uh, follow Lee and focus on finding the shredders. Understood. Oh jeez. Okay, so that was harmful. Okay, so basically we, we need to make the laser hit this guy. There we go. Okay, so this guy here.
Also, as soon as the laser hits one of those uh, safety pads, um, it can no longer move. So, we can just move on after that. Um, where are the Evotars? Okay, over here. Oh, friggin' really? How do you... Also, there's one running around over there. There we go. Looks like that's enough. Oh, Spearman's for Leah. We found more in the forest. You can look you can look for more Avatars further to the east. Roger. Dang it. Okay. Now we need to get up there. Okay. That one's done. Oops. There's one up here. Which is not a great place to be. Okay. But not terrible either. We can just do this. Sup? So, we brought more Ibotars from over the river. Good, please join Apollo and, and Jorn in the east of town. Alrighty. Okay, one got fixated. There we go. Oh, this person here. Where did they go? Got it. Okay, so we need two more. One over here. Last one over here. Looks like we got them all in this area. Emily Lucas, you both stay here and make sure that no enemies interfere with the evil Charles. Leah, you head to the east and join with the others. We got the we got this area covered. Good luck over there, Shay. Leah. Experiments for Leah. There's still several players left in this area. All right, let's stop them right here. It's weird to be using um, 
to ba basically be using the game against itself. Oh, jeez. Okay, that happened. When the when the world is flashing red, that means get out of the way. Also, I might have a little bit of difficulty um, following everything because there's a lot going on right now. So if I'm not responding to chat, I apologize. Sandwich. No? Mm. Fortunately, I had fire up. So I survived that. I survived it again. <laughs> There we go. Found more Evotars in here. Great, please join Emily and Lucas in the bus. They're defending the Evotars. to draw some dudes over here. There. Basically, the red orb is the thing that's allowing us to hack these guys to, um... to fixate the Votars. This one here. I ran out of dash. Okay. Found a few more strolling around here. Nice. Please join the defense of the West. Right on my way.
So there's this one here that we can only reach from inside here. Oh, cool. Thanks for that. It's a good thing that uh, the big laser is only aiming at us. Y'all, we gotta get these guys over here. is it pointing me to? Oh, this one here. Ah. Stay put, will you? Alright, well, we got him. It's a dead end. And here's the last one. It's like we caught all the evil in this area. We're close, but we're still not there yet. There have to be a, a few more evil somewhere. There are a few more evil over there, right in front of that tower. However, they seem to be stuck. I couldn't get the I could get them to move over there, over here. Stuck, you say? Stop right there, fiend! Albert, you help Apollo and Jordan defend the area. Me and I will have a look at the tower. Understood. I don't know what you hope to achieve with this, but it is clear that your goal is to interfere with the Evotars of this area. I won't let you continue doing this as you please. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't forget about one particular Evotar. You some bitch. His well-being is still at my mercy. I'll give you this one last chance to reconsider your current course. Leah, do not give in to his threats. The current plan is our best chance to rescue him. Leah! I suppose that means I can't change your mind. That's a shame. In any case, you're about to hit a brick wall. Yeah, don't give up. We're this close. Wait, that doesn't seem right. The fixation failed. You know, shot a countermeasure already? Yeah, focus on staying alive. I will work on a solution ASAP. Well, there's your solution. So, it looks like you're still at it. Shizuka, what are you doing here? I'm here to help. What about, don't worry about me, I already moved locations in advance. I'll be fine. More importantly, it looks like you need a hand here, Leo. 
Hi! Let's show them what we can do. Keep them busy for a while longer. I'm almost finished. Okay, it's done. One of the treasure one of the shredders will be marked with yellow stars. Defeat those and push them toward the Evotars. They should be able to break the blockers. We might need several attempts though. Good luck. Gotcha. Alright. So we got that one broken. Finally working on it already. Uh, maybe don't spread them around there, Coolio. There we go. Dang it! Oh, that one's already ready. We are almost there. Uh, turn off elements. Whoa, jeez. That one was excited. Right, Sergey, you can stop hacking him. There we go. Now my Evertar's left. So, what now? It seems like your plan didn't work out as expected, hmm. You've zapped every Evertar in the area. That is not entirely correct. There is one Evertar left. But what happened? Leah, is that you? Hi! Huh? Leah, now! Sorry! Leah, what's going- ah! Oh, something's happening. They exploded, just like Emily back then. What? Is that what happened to me? Unexpected error. Seems the Evo Talks have crashed. Justice has been served! That's a messed up justice, Polly. Sergey, you did it. Hi. That was supposed to happen, right? Yes, we did it! We crashed the Evotar server. And everything exploded? Yes, but do not worry about the Evotars. They're still, their data is still intact and can be recovered. Hmm, that was your plan, I suppose. The Evotar server has crashed, so I can't access it. <laughs> clever. Yes, very clever indeed. I assume simply rebooting the server won't fix it either, will it? <laughs> really, I'm impressed. To think that you go that far, 
finding such an obscure loophole just to recover some data. Some data, you say? You really don't hold an ounce of respect for all the work we did, uh, we did all over all those years, do you? Ah. Oh, I do, Shizuka. I most certainly do. The Ibotar interrogation program has been a tremendous success. It is all it is thanks to all your efforts. I would never deny that. But why? Why would you do any? Why would you do all of this to us? Threaten us, hold us hostage, over all these years. Because you didn't leave me any choice. I only did what was necessary to uphold this business. You wanted to drop everything, tell the authorities, make me pay for my evil deeds, conveniently ignoring the fact that we were all in this together. Please don't forget that we started off as partners. And we'd still be partners to this day if it wasn't for this one ideological disagreement. We are creating evil towers to extract information. And once that is done, we just throw them away. Kill them off. Evo towers, they're not just some data. They have memories, personality, emotions. You are, kill you are killing digitized human beings, Sidwell. What kind of monsters do you think we, uh, we are to just go along with that? Shizuka. We've had this discussion so many times already. I've grown tired of it. I've supported your research for many years now. I effectively enabled you to create Ibotars in the first place. I made it so that Ibotars have a place to exist at all. Ending this business would mark the end of every Ibotar in existence. At once and forever. I do understand your concerns about how we abuse Ibotars, but there are no other options. How else do you think we can generate revenue in Shizuka? Iwatars are, <coughs> are effectively illegal. Making any of this public and uh, make any of this public an instant payment will shut us down at once. We can only operate in the shadow of this company hidden in the playground. The black market of information is our only option. That is a very con there is a conveniently limited view if I ever heard one. Assuming that there is simply no way to find an agreement with instantainment. Sure, the company will be hard to convince, but you underestimate the achievements Satoshi and the others have made here. Those evil dogs, they have the potential to change the world. Even this attainment might be able to understand this. But of course, things wouldn't be quite as, uh, as much under your control once evil dogs become public. Yep, obviously you'd like things to just stay the way they are. Yes, just what they said, 100% agreed. Fiend, your deceptive speech shall not blind us. We, now shut up and get down here in person. You're in for some punching. Pointless as usual. Now then, what next? I assume you plan to just walk up to the server, reboot it, and fetch the data, am I right? Well, I have bad news for you. There is a reason the server is located inside the tower. Inside a dungeon instance. I hold control over the environment server. I can clear the room instance of the server at any time, effectively removing the platform below it, letting it fall and crash, rendering it unusable. No. That's right, the command to clear the data doesn't, uh, doesn't go through the Iwatar server. It goes through the environment server. No, how could I forget about this? Now then, that was quite the fuss you put up there. Very entertaining to watch. But ultimately, all for nothing. We beg to differ. This tower, it is our domain, and therefore we will make the rules. The server will remain untouched until our final demand has been granted. Leah, once the incomplete vessel, now filled with strength and determination. We are overjoyed to have you back, to ha for we have prepared the ultimate challenge, the quintessential experience, just for you. 
The tower is waiting to be entered. Reach the top and you shall find the server you seek. We are thrilled to watch your ascent. Gotham, I can't believe this. Now of all times. Uh, what is going on? Anyone? Who is that fancy looking blue guy? That was Gotham. Oh, that former colleague of yours? Correct. It seems he has taken control of the environment server. That is good, right? Now we might still get our chance direct to access the server. Yes, that is, if Leah takes on his challenge by herself. One final dungeon. Leah, you gotta go and show them. That's what, our, that's what all our dungeon races have prepared you for. Experiments, or Leah. I'm confident you're up to the task. Definitely. Good luck. Talk to anyone? No. All right. Thank you for your support, everyone. But I'm on my own now. Back in the tower dungeon. It looks like the interior has changed quite a bit though. I'd better avoid breaking through walls this time. We are here to take on Gotham's challenge and I, sh I am sure he does not want us to cheat. So, welcome to the final dungeon of Cross Code. As opposed to the final dungeon of Cross Worlds. Which, which at the current time is the Grand Crescaya. But this is a challenge for Aaliyah and no one else. Because Gotham is a power hungry maniac who is intent on testing Aaliyah's very limits. It and hit it into that. There we go. We seek the ultimate experience. That is why we create vast forests, majestic mountains, mysterious caves, any place that can harbor a story and nourish a memory. We created it all. So obviously, we're getting from this that Gotham was on the environment design team. Now what's this? What if I shoot ice at it? It comes towards me. If I shoot fire at it, it goes away. Basically, I shoot anything but um, ice at it. It goes away. Shoot ice, comes toward me. Now, what can I do with that information? Because. Ah, let me see here.
Okay. So now it's there. Obviously, we can't get through that. Let's look at. An, let's see if we can. Uh, if another room is open. So this is basically the same thing, except fire and shock. Okay, now I get it. Now I get it. I gotta fire multiple shots at it. There we go. The problem with uh, with having an area that basically has um, mechanics in it that are not explained anywhere else because they're not present anywhere else only in this incomplete dungeon okay let me see if i do this not give me I kind of see what I need to do. Just not sure exactly how to do it. Fire. Run through here, and there we are. Ah, oh, that even disables those things. So I don't know. I, I I realize. Oh, there we go. She's got a little sixty. Also, she's our friend now. So that's cool. So we're all pretty pretty much comparable levels at this point. That's what you want here. All right. 
out. But then what? Try this. No, there there is no timer. Yeah, that works. There we go. I think there was supposed to be a couple of more um, phases to that, but uh, that didn't happen. Okay, so now we know how this works. So we need this bubble to hit this. Good. And it doesn't stay up forever. need this bubble to hit this. What does that do? That stays up for a while. Okay, 
what do I do with this information? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Then I use anything but ice. Push that there. Okay, next puzzle. So what does this do? That what you'd expect. that, which I will need to then hit this, which will take down this wall, I assume, and then I can use this wave to get out of here. Okay, so this is permanently down. Freeze it, and use wave. Come on. There we go. Okay. Got another turret. I wonder if I can just shoot it. No, I do need to shoot it with fire. I do need to shoot it because it has that protective aura. Okay, well that's that floor clear. We seek the ultimate experience, yet our means have been restricted. Obstacles have been placed, limiting our true potential. True creative freedom was what we required. Pretty much, Jewel. Oh, gotta make us fight. Okay, well, I guess. What else you got? Okay. This guy looks friendly. Oh, this guy is very friendly. Dang it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to turn out. Ah! Completely faffing that. No. Eat sandwich. You know what this kind of reminds me of? 
friggin' Kinker rule. Just jumping around like this. Although King Kirill doesn't fart at us, so that's... At least there's that with him. Up to floor two. These floors seem awfully tall. So now the game is just making sure we're paying attention. So how do we get this? We only get four bounces. Oh, I have an idea. Probably have to hit all three of these, have them active at the same time. That might be a little tricky. This one's got me, to be honest. Okay, maybe it was simpler than I thought. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now I need to ship that over there. I can just run through. Okay. 
Next part. Okay, I think that was the correct general idea. Except don't hit that thing. Actually, let's just shoot a fireball directly at it and see what happens. Okay, nothing good. Oh. Must be charged with something. Okay. Now that one's taken care of. So now we have more direct access to this thing. Which allows us to move this block over here. I think where we want it right now is on this spot, so we can do this. Not exactly. Um, well, that uh, that made a dent. There's still a little damage left to do. Hitting it again will just set it off. I definitely don't have enough time. That's not what you want me to do, right? I think that's what you want me to do. It works! Ah, but now how do I... Oh! Alright, alright, I see what- I want to see what you're putting down. I see what you're putting down. I see it, game. I see it. There we go. So now we're going to need to put this back over here. So that we can just jump on it and press this button. Which unlocks this fire thing, which we attack, and we're able to get through. Ta da! So we want to hit it. Okay. We don't necessarily want to hit it with uh with char what like uh that charge thing. It will have no uh, particular effect. This one does appear to have two phases. Here. 
Like, the crappy thing is, I have to figure this out while also getting, you know, assaulted. Well, that didn't do anything good. Just gonna keep going forever, apparently. I mean, I can hit it through the wall, but the problem is, I can only hit it through the wall with. Wait, oh. Okay, so apparently that repelled it. I was expecting it to attract. This gotta be another thing where I have to hit it with both of these at once. That is not at once. I figure I'd hit it with my newly acquired skill. Okay, so that's one down. myself there. skills are pretty cool. Yes. Um, wait, did I want to do that? That's a good question. Where do I want it? I think I want it here for now.
Okay. They still have time? Yes. get that out of there. Now the the problem here is that there is there are black holes on both sides of that uh, of that shock charger. Or are there? Wait. Yeah, there are. Nope, that's definitely not what I want to do. Again, I'm overthinking this. Welcome everyone to Coolio Overthinks the World. I'm your host, Coolio. There we go. Ta-da! It was just that easy, folks. Okay. Now I have magnets here, but we don't have any obvious... Okay, we probably need to use wave. Now we don't have any wave blocks. Actually, do we use wave? And I don't see what else we would do. At the same time, I don't see what, like, what good using wave would do. We can move this one freely. And we can kill that fire, but it just comes back. Okay, got it. Can 
now we have this. Okay, I think I have an idea. Nope, that didn't work the way that I thought it would. Oh, 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 oh. I had the right idea, just the wrong execution. So I do want to move that over there, but I want to turn it into a block of ice then transport the block of ice over to here which we would never we would never be able to do fast enough um just otherwise so there you go oh uh it shock with wave going You're not going to succeed at a master class puzzle in this game and then fail at basic game mechanics. I think I need to. I think this is one of one of the times that I need to hit with both things at the same time. That was definitely not at the same time. Trying to aim, like, this close to danger is very hard. Okay, there's gotta be another way to do this. Okay. Again, overthinking things. Push it once more. Get out of my way. Okay. All right. Okay, this time I have no choice. But the timing is going to be a little bit more generous. The way that I was overthinking it is the correct solution here.
There we go. Get out of here. We seek the ultimate experience. And thus we broke free of our chains, obliterated all the obstacles, obtained the creative freedom we deemed necessary. Finally, we could give shape to everything our mind had to offer. Uh, hello? Oh, all right. Dang it. Okay, one left. Oh, remember these guys? Now we have to actually fight one. fight all of them all over again which whatever I guess Ele elemental shift oh okay um Goodness, that one almost killed me. Come on, come on. That was needlessly close. I'm just gonna attack it with normal for a second to bring my elemental charge down. to avoid that attack pretty much completely.
I mean, this is an interesting fight, sort of. But it's a bit slow for what it is, I find. Because now it's just like, okay, victory lap, I guess? There we go. We seek the ultimate experience. However, just as we reach the creative freedom required to create it, with a heavy heart, we realized something else was amiss. The source of the experience. A player to enjoy it. Behold, the ultimate elemental puzzle of this game. Gotham, you cannot be serious. You must use all four elements for this puzzle. Crap, that's going the wrong way. Oh, wait. Wait, what did you want from me here? Oh, while this is here. And then bring it over here. All right. Do not hit that one, is what I'm reading. But now hit it. There 
think I'm too late. Yep. How do I get that one? Okay. Well, completely missed that shot. Oh, come on now. Can you please? There we go. What? I disagree, game. Okay, this time is gonna count. This is definitely part of the game that contributed to that RSI problem I now have. Damn it. All right, from the top. That's what happened. Damn it! It's like, yes, this is a hard puzzle, and it probably doesn't need to be this hard. At the same time, I'm like, Every time I get it wrong, it is probably something like I can identify where the problem is. Oh, thank fuck. 
We seek the ultimate experience, yet all we found was misery day after day. The lifeless shells of players flowing through the worlds we created, devoid of joy, far from the experience we desired. Over time, we realized in dismay that our creations turned into bland routine. Well, we're skipping ahead, aren't we? <laughs> um, let's go ahead and save. And actually, considering that this is, um, that this is a um, end of game or a bust stream, we're going to go ahead and take another break at this point because we're almost done, but we still got a little ways to go. So hang tight. We're getting to the end of this game. We are back. <laughs> 